What up guys, today I will be explaining you why you should never hardcast iBeam and how that is holding you back. Hope you enjoy. The first reason you should be cancelling iBeam is to extend your free daemon form duration. Yes, you heard right. If you check out the demonic talent description, it states that high beam causes you to enter demon form when it finishes dealing damage. Well, in reality, it gets you into demon form as soon as you cast it and gives you the two extra seconds the cast would otherwise have taken as extra demon form duration. This means that if you cancel high beam right after you cast it, as I am compelling you to do in this video, then instead of six seconds, you will have seven and a half given that the high beam cast itself incurs a global cooldown. Otherwise, it would be the full 8 seconds. With our current meta build, high beam functions only as a catalyst to get us into demon form. You do not want to stay locked in place channeling a subpar ability. A demon hunter is way more dangerous to the enemy while on the loose, with an extended demon form duration, running after them and unleashing an extra annihilation or two. In order to pull this off, you will need to use this macro. You can choose to macro the iBeam cancel either into the iBeam itself, as in the first macro, or the way I do it, macroing it into essence break as that is always the ability you will want to follow iBeam with. Now I will show you what the regular iBeam cast looks like, and I want you to keep track of my demon form duration as I do so. As you saw, the regular way gives you 6 seconds of free demon form. Now look what happens when you use my iBeam cancel macro. Yep, you get almost 8 extra seconds of demon form. In order to better understand this, just look at this in the following way. What would you be more afraid of? A berserker locked in place? Or the very same berserker running after you with almost 2 extra seconds of empowered rage on the clock? I'm pretty sure that the running one is way scarier. Now to the second reason we should never hardcast Ibeam. What is the worst thing that can happen to a demon hunter's burst window? The answer is getting interrupted, as that will lock you out of the Chaos Magic School, blocking all related abilities, which pretty much completely disrupts your entire burst window right there and then. And that is where my macro comes to the rescue. The enemy will barely have time to react and interrupt you, pretty much always they will simply not be fast enough, and on a best case scenario, they will still waste their interrupt as you immediately cancel your cast, allowing you to effectively fake cast as a demon hunter. This trick alone will allow you to climb to much higher ranks as it almost completely gets rid of one of our main weaknesses. But what if they somehow still manage to get an interrupt through? Well, in that case, you want to immediately use your death sweep, as that is a physical damage school ability, which means that it does not get locked with your other chaos school abilities. Also remember that you can still use Troglave. This is the most important ability in our build, and it follows the same logic, despite we transforming its physical damage into chaos with its build, the ability itself is still physical in nature. Remember that your mobility is also still available, so make sure to make use of it in order to better position yourself for when the interrupt wears off. With that, if you do as I said and immediately death sweep as the interrupt comes through, then by now you will have the ability back and ready to use. And the best part is that you will still be able to fit it into your demon form window. This way you will still get a substantial part of your burst damage through and make the best out of a bad situation. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't yet, and as always, I will see you in the arena.